Here's a demonstration of the fast sprite copy function of the Game Tank graphics board. This allows images from a preloaded buffer to be drawn to the screen independently of the CPU, and much more quickly than a software data copy routine. One feature you can see here is basic transparency, which lets sprites have transparent pixels that let the background show behind them. This handy adapter board lets me quickly swap out EEPROM chips as I test out new versions of the software. However, finished programs will be stored on fixed cartridges with custom plastic shells. For comparison, Here's an implementation of Conway's Game of Life. The sprite copy hardware is only useful here for clearing the screen in between simulation steps. As a result, the frame rate is much slower than the previous demo, even though the image is more sparse. This version of the program loops over every pixel nine times, so it could certainly stand to be optimized. But before I do that, I have some hardware glitches I would like to resolve. You might notice the random pixels appearing in the middle of the screen. Something is kind of off when the CPU accesses video memory directly. As of this filming, I have not figured out what. As a bonus, here's some footage of the emulator I'm working on. This is intended to be more of a development tool than a replacement for the game system itself. Currently, it only simulates the graphics card and the CPU. Still, it was very useful when debugging the life program. Burning programs to the ROM chip is rather slow. Anything that lets me test faster makes the development process easier.